Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics and today we are going to be talking about FR Configurator, Mitsubishi FR Configurator. Have you ever had a situation when you just had a drive go down and you're thinking to yourself, gosh, what sort of parameters were in there? You have got no backup and anything. Ah, oh, it's a pain in the butt and I've been in this situation so many times so I have decided that I will, all the drives from now on I'm going to be covering, I will be doing my best to find out all the uh, drive configuration software where we can back up all the information, all the parameters, everything we can with uh, their configurators and the first one again as I said today we are going to be using FR Configurator and actually that FR Configurator at the moment is free from Mitsubishi website there's only one way to get that you have to be fully registered with uh, Mitsubishi it is free registration it is easy to, to get going and things like that so get yourself registered and I will uh, have links below where you have to click on it when it's going to take you to, to a different page which doesn't usually open uh, unless you are signed in and there's a literally a small little window where it says software and you can literally access all of the Mitsubishi softwares there for download uh, but you can download them but you can't use them because you have to buy a license key and there's some softwares that are free and some software that you have to pay for and fortunately for us FR Configurator and FR Configurator 2 is the one that we're going to be using today were free even though when I downloaded FR Configurator 2 it did, did have a, a key window in it but that key window was filled out by Mitsubishi itself so I was able to proceed and install the configurator without no problems I'm not sure how long they're going to be keeping that and is this being uh, intent to or not but just to warn you, uh, that could happen and no longer free version is available. But the uh, FR configurator, which is which they say is mainly used for uh, these D and E series, I have uh, checked out the FR configurator 2 and that was kind of fault because you are able to do all the drives with FR configurator 2. So I'm not sure why some advertisers or resellers are sort of uh, advertising is only made for this and that so it did work and the only thing you're gonna need is USB cable for the E series and for the D series you unfortunately you're gonna need to get some sort of a PU converter I will uh, leave the in the link description in the link description about this uh, USB cable it's just a standard USB cable and uh, what sort of configurator you need if you want to program your drive or backup or whatever you want to do with a drive with the PU connector which is which is the connector down here so uh without further ado let's get started and before we do that i completely again almost forgot is uh we are buyers and sellers here so uh in uh, IGS electronics so if you got if you're in uh, looking for a part and you can't find it get in touch we definitely help you out and then and if you are if you if you got short plus stock and you want to sell get in touch as well you can get in touch with that with ebay uh via ebay or our uh, youtube or our website whichever suits you so Without further ado, let's get started. Alrighty, now to start, plug in your USB right here on the top. This is for the E-Series only, and because uh, the A-Series goes somewhere else, but uh, for the E-Series, the USB is down there. And for the D-Series, obviously you're gonna have to use a P, uh, the converter from this point here, which I'm gonna research a bit later on to find out what that is, the part number, I'll leave that in the description below. So on the other end, if you plug it into USB into your computer, and uh, let's get the computer and uh, load up the software. Alrighty, once you click the link that is in the description, it will take you to this page, which is a registration page. And if you see down there, I already got my login details in there, which logs me in. And you got the registration button. Get yourself registered and things like that, and you will have a full access to uh, most of all the Mitsubishi uh, downloads. So once you did that, you get back in it and get, you send the email to your to your um, email box, just uh, confirm and things like that, and then you will be able to log in and things like that. Once you've done that, you log in, if my internet is long fast enough, and, one, and then you're very much going to come to this page in here. And in this page in here is my account, downloads, tools, and project section. These, this page is only going to be ever displayed if you are fully registered. Uh, on Mitsubishi website so uh, uh, then you can see all the stuff that you need is in here all the manuals everything you ever need regarding Mitsubishi it is all here but today we are more concentrating on it if you go into the software part of it 
you can actually be able to download every single software that Mitsubishi has. Doesn't mean you'll be able to use it, but you can definitely download and you can just purchase the key or something like that and uh, just do it uh, do it that way. As you can see down here, you can see all the GX Developer 8. This is the latest update, I think. Uh, Windows 10 support, here it goes, being released probably, what's that, 27, two days ago. Here we go. So all the latest uh, downloads in here, you'll be able to have them in here. As I said, you can download, doesn't mean you're able to use it, but, but a lot of the softwares in here, they are free. And one of them is, if you scroll downwards, if you can see down here, FR Configurator 2, and it's a 1.5 gigabyte, and just click that one, and it will take you uh, to start downloading down here. So I'm not going to do that because I'm already uh, have that. So uh, this is how you pretty much uh, get all the software and the software uh, you need from a Mitsubishi website. Okay, so uh, uh, let's load up the software and uh, we go from there. Once you download the software, you be you download the software. You're gonna get a RAR file. I have named renamed the RAR file uh, already, so the RAR file looks like that. And then you open up and then uh, uh, just double click on that one and obviously it's going to have to instruct the file it is an iso file so you should be if you are using windows then you should be all right uh, to use and there we go once you open up you better just click setup i'm not going to take you st through all the steps and things like that so uh there we go and now it's just going to start doing the, all of his business so pretty much all, uh, download uh, install all the software and uh once you've done that uh, you'll be uh, here on a FR configurator right here. Double click on that one, you will get the e-manual viewer and FR configurator. And then start up your software. And pretty much this is the main window you are going to be uh, uh, opening first. There is a lot you can do in this software, so we are obviously not going to be running through everything. And uh, once you get your software, play around. Today I'm only going to show you how to download, upload, and things like that, how to get communications with the, with your drive. Uh, but as I say, play around. There's so much you can do. You can start your own uh, new project, which you're going to do in a minute. And there is all these windows in here you can just convert. And there's monitoring, diagnose, test operations if you're using the PLC tools that you can actually develop as well and uh, use parameter copy files and the parameter, there's, there's, there's a lot. So but, but for, for the uh, uh, demonstration purposes we're only doing servicing today so I want to know what is inside my uh, inverter drive so I'll start a new project and in this window if you are using uh, USB, obviously there's an internet and comps and things like that. So we are using USB, you just select whatever you are using. Hopefully if you're using the AC, uh, 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 FR E-series, that everything above, that should be okay just with the, um, what's it called, um, uh, USB alone. So, uh, and here you can actually, if you want, you can find your drive if you wish to. There, there's loads, we're not going to do that because we can auto recognize in here and then you click auto recognize he will in a minute start looking for the drives as soon as you find your drivers you can see my driver is near and I have only one drive and there's no point for you to wait him to finish that's your drive click OK and this is it you have connected to the drive and then you can go open up and uh, here is all your parameters that are defaults and let's uh, and now we're gonna do is connect here you go this little window down here you can connect to it and now that you are able to if you can see up here you do the batch read so read all the parameters that are inside of the drive once you have done that there's a couple of options uh, uh, you have, you can see down there, you have a little bit of control in here. So you can select between PU, external, and um, that one doesn't work. But again, that's a lot for you to uh, play around. And then, and, uh, again, these two, yeah. And in here, you can see all the parameters inside the drive, what is inside the drive. And you can, uh, everything that's highlighted in blue, it says it has been changed. So uh, these are the parameters that are being set in the drive. High speed, maximum frequency, 50. Here's the overload set to 1.9. As you can see down there, we've got 0.37 kilowatt 
capacity, uh, motor poles, voltage, everything is in there. So, uh, and all the parameters you can see are all in the end, they all can be configured. And the coolest part about all of this is if you click, let's say, on this parameter, you want to know what it is, just double click it and it will open you the page in the manual where you can literally read everything you need to read about and if you want there's literally above parameters you can go to the next referred page you know you cut it is, it is everything you need is in there because because uh, uh, the program uh, this uh, FR configurator 2 and also if FR configurator the basic one uh, does have all the manuals in of all the drives in here that's why you have this a uh, manual viewer in here if you wish to go that route you can do that so basically this is what you do so when you learn what you need to do the best part is like when you go down to in here where was that auto tune somewhere 96 i think it has auto tune settings you click on it and it tells you what each what is all about what speed each parameter is involved what you need to do and then is the uh, tell you what parameters will might be changed what parameters will be affected and the points and then it tells you step by step what you need to do how to do all the business and what each thing means it is just fantastic and uh, i definitely encourage you to use fr configurator it's so much easier to set your drive up to what you want so that will be that and in, in here you can say so if you uh, press just read it will just read one parameter which one you whichever you've been clicked if you read it will read that parameter if you batch read it means it will read all of them and obviously the same goes for the right as well and then you can do the parameter clear or all clear so what are we going to do we're going to wipe the drive completely empty so this is pretty much i already show you how to get the program out of the out of the drive by batch read and what we're going to do we're just going to wipe the wipe the whole thing completely clean there we go as you can see all setting values has referred back to default value so this is this is what you would see as soon as you buy the drive now this is what is in the drive now and what we're going to do in there we're going to open uh, i already saved this so actually going to show you uh, i'll join that in a minute uh, i already pre-saved the file so i don't have to mess around setting things out and loading it now so i already have a file you can back up all your parameters from all of your drives which is absolutely cool because you, you, how many times your drive goes down you've got no clue what's been done inside so this is absolutely fantastic so you can open click on it and there we go all the parameters show up on here now as you can see all of them are there but obviously they are not loaded and some parameters will not be loaded because it requires the manual uh, push button push buttons being pressed on the drive itself that is uh, like auto tuning and things like that you will have to do it manual but it will let you know which parameters it could not change because of it and by step by doing that we do the batch write and there we go now we write all the all the parameters into the drive taking his time so there we go and then in here if you dig down there and it says what he has not been able to do basically errors so basically that's what you need to still work on and uh, get these things done yourself so by clicking the yes and here we go so we have loaded all the parameters inside the drive so that's how it's done and to save it all you need to do save as blah 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 and you have saved all parameters from the drive before we uh, finish all this thing up, I'll show you a couple other cool features that is in here and uh, what's this parameter list and here you can see the graphs and in, in, in this window you can seriously do some uh, crazy ass uh, monitoring and things like that, even Excel file export, saved images and there's so much you can do and then I, I, I only used it once so I'm no expert in this but there is some uh, data can be obtained in case you want to watch how machines performing and what sort of things is happening in the drive uh, again all that you can literally literally study through and i'll show you in a minute the manual where you can really go that through uh the next one i'll show you it's uh this um what's this called uh batch monitoring you can see what the hell is going on in uh in the drive i like this one commodity energizer not not that one 
Uh, there's something cumulative power. This is very interesting one to monitor in a co converted output voltage. It's really cool stuff. You can monitor the whole thing in here. The next one is the IO terminals. You can see how your IO terminals are working depending on what drive you have and things like that. It's what's on and off. Really cool as well. And then you can you see uh, if you are able to do your main circuit capacitor life measurement. I can't do mine because my motor is way too small to do the measurement properly on my uh, drive so uh, but uh, if your drive is closer to the motor capacitor you shouldn't have no no uh, problem doing that by the here it literally oh i think i lost connection to my drive and in here you can pretty much uh, it tells you all the instructions and things like that what you need to uh, uh, do let me just reconnect my drive all right we are back because i'm using quite a longer usb cable i keep losing connection to the to the drive so uh be aware that i don't use a too long usb cable so yeah in here you can do your live checks and things like that and tells you all the instructions even if you go to help and it deals it it's just it's so cool you can literally you can't go things wrong just follow the instructions and uh, what was the other thing i wanted to show you in oh and in here the help the last thing i show you this if you're gonna if i can get it to help uh no we don't want to do that and here we go there is a a full manual how to use fr configurator and then and then uh, it's just never it's, it's so much to it this is everything you're gonna need to understand about fr configurator is all uh, gonna be here so uh here we go ladies and gentlemen that will be it for this uh video so hopefully, uh, uh, ooh, no, I don't want to do that now. Uh, yeah, I lost connection again. Uh, that will be it for this video, and I hope this is uh, helping you out to get what you want to do. If I configure as a buyer far, if you are in the service uh, service thing and things like that, and, and uh, you want to monitor the drives and things like that, this is the best uh, uh, thing to have for the Mitsubishi drives. So if you liked the video, please like. If you didn't, dislike. Uh, comment below anything you like and dislike and anything else you want to have a chat. Any questions and things like that, please leave your comments in below. And thank again, as usual, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.